Now let's see this. 40% of the students of a college is from West Bengal and out of these 40% are from Calcutta, Kolkata. What percent of the students are not from Kolkata? Okay, we take, uh, there are 100 students, right? From West Bengal, 40 students, right? So from West Bengal, 40 students and uh, uh, for, uh, out of these 40 students, 40% 40 are from Kolkata. So from Kolkata... 40% 40 of 40, that is 16 students, right? Very simple. So what percentage of the students are not from Kolkata? So only 16 students are there who are from Kolkata. So remaining 84 students are not from Kolkata, as simple as that, okay? Now this one, a man spends 80% of his income and saves the rest. What percentage of his expenditure does he save? So suppose his income is rupees 100. So spending and saving. So spending is 80 and saving is 20. Right? Now what percentage of his expenditure does he save? Now spending is what? 80. Out of that saving is what? 20. So how much percent? 25%. As simple as that. Okay, pretty simple. Now, out of 120 applications for the post, uh, 70 are males and 80 have driver's license. What is the ratio between minimum to maximum number of males having driver license? Okay, so males and females. 70 males are there, that means 50 females are there. Okay, now 80 have driver's license. That means uh, uh, if we have to find out the minimum and maximum number of males so minimum what could happen so, uh, minimum males are having the driver license that means uh, all the females are having the driver license right so all females are having the driver license then only then also 50 will be consumed so we are left with 30 so at least 30 males are there at least who will be having the uh, driver's license and at max this is minimum and at max, all the 70 males can have driver's license. In all, 80 persons are having driver's license. So if 70 males are having driver's license, 10 will be uh, female candidates will be there who will be having driver's license. So maximum is 70 and minimum is 30. So ratio of minimum to maximum is 3 is to 7, as simple as that. Okay? Now, we see this problem, a doubt sent by a student. Here, in a rare coin collection, there is one gold coin for every three non-gold coins. Ten more uh, gold coins are added to the collection and the ratio of gold coins to non-gold coins is then one is to two. Based on the information, the total number of coins in the collection now becomes. See, now the collection of gold and non-gold is one is to t. 1 is to 2. That means the total collection is should be multiple of 3. That is 1 part plus 2 part, 3 part, right? So we can eliminate 80 and 50, both of them, right? So 1 is to 2 is the present ratio. So 90 and 60, both of them are multiple of 3. So if I take option as 90, so it must be 60 and uh, uh, 1 is to 2, so it must be 30 and 60, right that is a present collection gold and non gold now if i wish to cross verify i deduct 10 from it so initially 20 golds were there and 60 non golds were there so the ratio is 1 is to 3 okay so with this way we can verify the answer no need to go for much calculations okay 90 is the correct choice i hope you are clear